in November of 1983 stood the Bifur Dolphin oil rig. Beneath its waves, a world of unimaginable pressure. This was the realm of the saturation diver, men who lived for weeks at extreme depths in pressurized habitats. Their home was a series of linked chambers connected by a single diving bell, the link between the two being a massive outer clamp. Yet, a fundamental flaw existed. This clamp lacked a fail-safe interlock, meaning that it could be opened even if the system inside was still under pressure, a vulnerability in its design that was quietly waiting. On November 5th of 1985, four divers were resting in their chambers. Outside, tenders William Crammon and Martin Saunders prepared for the routine bell transfer. But a procedural breach, a moment of miscommunication, led to the unimaginable. William Crammond, the tender, prematurely opened the outer clamp. Inside, nine atmospheres of pressure was still being held, the door to which was still wide open. What followed was instantaneous and catastrophic. Nine atmospheres into one in less than a fraction of a second. The diving bell shot across the deck as a deadly projectile, instantly taking the life of Crammon and severely injuring Martin Saunders. But the true horror of this situation was inside of those chambers. The gases within those divers expanded with an immediate and devastating effect. Their structures were catastrophically disassembled before they could register a thought. Truls Helovic, closest to the open, got it worse than anybody. His body forced to fit through a gap that no human could ever fit through. In total, five lives were lost. Four divers and the tender who had made the fatal mistake. 